Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on converting numbers to decimal from binary. Now you might have heard about binary before, it's where each of the digits of the number are only one or zero, so it's made up of ones and zeros. And that's how computers work, computers use ones and zeros to represent data. And what this little number here is, the two, that's not actually part of the number, that's known as the base of the number. And what the base of the number is, is how many possible values there are for each digit. So for binary, it's saying it's a base 2, the base is 2 for binary. And that means that each digit only has two possible values. And indeed that's right, it can only be 1 or 0, that's two possible values for each of the digits. Now let's think how we actually usually interpret a number. If I said what's the value of the number with digits 2, 3, 5 for example, well, we would say that as 235, but how do we interpret these digits? And this is what we would do. If I put this number in a box, the digits in a box, 2, 3, 5, what is the value of each digit? Well, that 2 we know is the hundreds digit, so its value is the hundred, so I'm going to put the value of the digit up here. The 3 is the tens digit, because it's 30, isn't it? So that's the tens digit, and then the 5 is the units digit, so each so it's just worth one. And this is a normal number, we call it a decimal number. And it's called a decimal number, you might recognize dec meaning 10. And decimal numbers are base 10. Decimal doesn't necessarily mean we have a, a point on the end, a decimal point. It just means the number is in base 10. And as we know from what is meant by base, it's how many possible values for each digit. So if it's base 10, that means there's 10 possible values for each digit. And that's right, because each digit can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 10 possible values. And it's likely our normal number system is base 10, because we have 10 fingers. So it makes it easier to count stuff on our fingers. And so how do we interpret the value of 235? Well, the 2 is a hundreds digit, so 2 times 100 is 200. It's worth 200. What's the value of the 3? Well, it's the tens digit. 3 times 10 is 30. And the 5 times the 1 is 5. And if you add those numbers together, you get 235, which is the original number, because I've just converted from decimal to decimal. We have the same number, but that is the value of the number with these digits. Now, that seems a bit pointless, but you'll see the point of this when we convert this binary number into a decimal number. So. Let's do a box. I like the box way of presenting for this kind of question. 101101. 101101. Now notice, when it was base 10, this is always the units digit. So the rightmost digit of the number, that's the units digit. But notice, as we went from right to left, the digits became worth 10 times as much. So the next digit is worth 10 times as much the next digit is worth 10 times as much. And we times by 10 because that's the base of the number. Now, if this is base 2, because it's binary, then we're going to times by 2 each time, because it's base 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, so this is the 2's digit, if you like, times by 2 again, 2 times 2 is 4, and double again, 8, 16, 32. So remember, this is the value of each digit above my box. This is the value of each digit. And then we do exactly what we did over here. Well, that 1 is worth 32, so we put 32. We've got 0 lots of 16, so we don't need to add it. We've got 1 lot of 8. We've got 1 lot of 4. And we've got 1 lot of 1. And then we add those together. 32 plus 8 is 40, 44, 45. So the value of this number is 45. So 101101 is worth 45 in decimal, in, as a normal number.